Hey, what's going on? You too, it's your boy Brandon Bird. Uh, been a while, man. I know looking kind of a little rugged. You know, I've been on the grind, man. So I just came from West Texas, out here in uh, near the DFW area. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get this money. Um, definitely just want to, uh, you know, break a little bread with the fam and stuff like that. I know I've uh, been gone for a little bit, but you know, I take care of some situations and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I really want to, uh, um, not drop, uh, a huge discussion or something like that. I really probably may want to just drop a little bit of fun fact or history. Um, you know, and I think the topic is, uh, was actually, uh, you know, Queen Nanny, you know, Queen Nanny, and that figure is a that historical figure is really um, important in the Caribbean Rebellion um, era, and very, and actually, she's a very important figure in Jamaican history. Um, she was born in actually in West Africa. Um, she was born in, in the uh, into the Shanties. Uh, I think it's 1686. Uh, she was, she passed away in Jamaica. Um, I'm thinking at 1755. Um, but she actually was credited in founding um, a, a, a town called Nanny Town, and uh, it was pretty much named after her. And she uh, it was established. Um, I mean, maybe around the. the the early 1700s, but it was it was actually destroyed in the first Maru um, war out there in Jamaica, I think in 1735. But uh, yeah, she was she was the leader of the of the of the Jamaican Maroons. She was a very she was a fighter, but she was also um, she was many other things. She was a herbalist, um, so she knew a lot about the plants. She knew a lot about nature. She knew how to use certain um extract um out of plants and make poisons or some type of beneficial or even medicine um to our people she was also a spiritual leader um that practiced in some parts of van uh, that von du um practices of, you know the, of the of the ifa or the yoruba um she was also uh, a physicalist like um so she was definitely um a person of very healthy stature, um, and she was definitely, uh, you know, she was definitely she knew a lot about the anatomy. So she was a very intelligent person, a very intelligent and influential person, and a very big historical figure in Jamaica. Um, she also, like I said, her uprise um, kind of gave way to somewhat of an independence in Jamaica. Um, and also, in some way, um, ex almost like an expiry, uh, expiration for, for the Haiti Revolution as well. I know the Haiti Revolution around, started around the, seven, uh, the late 1700s, but it was from the Queen Nanny and Jamaican Rebellion um, that it really kind of started picking, you know, the, the, influence, the influence was already there. Um, but, um, yeah, real... Real courageous, intelligent, very strong black woman that was leading um, the freedom of you know of enslaved slavery. Um, as you know, it was I think it was, it was um, in the Paris of Portland where they actually during a peace settlement. Because it was they were warring for a while. You know, they were warring like for a while, like a good decade or two, um, and they finally was granted some land. They were graded like 500 acres of land in the Paris of Portland and that's where Nanny Town um, was founded but you know but roughly was you no know, was founded was destroyed. Um, but they erected other Nanny Towns as well uh, in Jamaica. Um, there's some uh, Nanny Town that actually still exists to this day. Uh, so I definitely a, a very historical figure that I definitely want to shine some light to on my fun fact of history. So, um, definitely, uh, you know, definitely, you know, check her out, do more research on her, um, you know, Queen Nanny, um, you know, because she was definitely a very powerful figure at that time. You know, not just Jamaica, but throughout the entire Caribbean region. So, definitely uh, check it out. And, and um, you know, and I'm, like I said, 
Uh, this was my, that's my conclude my uh, fun fact of history um, with Queen Nanny. All right.